Okay, everybody, we've got one round left to go before we're caught up to where we are in the series, and then we're going to have to deal with the cliffhangers. And it's a pretty uh, long round with a lot of footage, so let's get started. Um, here in the prologue, we establish the Illuminati, and before I get um, started on that, I'm going to say that it's been confirmed that the Illuminati... Hold on. Illuminati? Illuminati? I think it's Illuminati, actually, but I want to say Illuminati. I want to- I don't know why that is. Usually I'm good at pronouncing things correctly, mostly, sort of. You be the judge of that. Um, anyway, they're, uh, all, uh, supposed to be different characters that don't actually sync up to who they are in Gargoyles, so... Yeah, it's gonna be fun to see what happens with this faction, and... Yeah. I'm not going to say anything else because I'm afraid that if I say anything else about them, it'll prompt people to post spoilers and I don't want to do that. So if you know anything about the Illuminati that I don't, please don't post it on this video. Just don't. Assassin. He'll come in later. Revenge, they say, uh, oh my gosh, I really don't know who that one is. Who's that one? Guys, help me. <laughs> so, you know, this always amazes me. Rewatching it, I guess I can see it now. There's a big, huge logic thing where, you know, I was annoyed that CC didn't know who sent the assassin. And like, doesn't he know that Xanatos is after him? And you know, rewatching it, I realized that they haven't actually had any real conflict other than um D and Amy and Mindbender. And I don't even know if Amy was working for Xanatos at this point. So actually it it does make more sense now I've rewatched it. It just seems so obvious to us as the viewers that um CC and Xanatos are rivals that, you know, someone chose to try to kill CC. Oh yeah, and Demona tried to kill him too, when so I find out who I have you, but there'll be no place remote enough to run. Yeah. So we're all like How does he not know? Oh this! This! Yes! This! So much! So very much! Okay, first of all, this fight was my suggestion. This man, woo, and women are like, we don't know what to do with Technus. And I'm like, you need to bring Megavolt back. So then I'm like, wait, if I found someone for you to fight. Technus, like, we're listening. And so then this. And they're like, when we reveal what faction he is in, you're going to scream. Uh, Megs, not Technus. So they needed Technus to die. I was like, okay. And, and then they went and put him in Sean Yu and Yzma's faction. And this is like, you know, him and Yzma and Mosenrath and Rose. And it's like, everyone I love is in that faction. And this made me so happy. Because, you know, he wipes the floor with Technus. <laughs> that is beautiful! That is a beautiful thing he's taking that label as a victory spoil! And Mirage, uh, talking to Anansi, who's one of, uh, Winman's favorites. So it was really cool to have him in here as well. Like, this was around with a lot of fan favorites returning into the fold. So yeah, um, this is really clever the way they had uh, Beastman summon the Panthers. So some of you might have seen that uh, really low quality video story series called To Be With You that I used to have. Uh, the video series of that is officially dead. Sorry everyone. Um, and ever since that, I'd had this big headcanon. Yeah, this is still running off that last fight, not paying attention to what's actually going on now. It's been my huge headcanon that- Oh my gosh! Wait. Interruption. Because, remember how I said Negaduck is physically incapable of holding an alliance for more than one round? Er, for more than one fight. This was Savarius, because twisted minds think alike. Mindbender comes in. Negaduck walks out halfway through the fight! <laughs> Can we say chronic backstabbing disorder? 
Anyway, ever since To Be With You, I had this huge involved headcanon that if Moe's and Raph and Megavolt ever met up, they would be, like, mortal enemies. So finding out that they live in the same, uh, building is incredibly hilarious to me. Um, and, uh, when I think about the implications of that, it makes me realize how out of my league Moe's and Raph style guys really are. But you didn't need to know that. This mindbender's gonna put on his uh, hat of awesome. And he and Savarius are gonna have the gold battle. And Savarius dies! Or did he? It's a reasonable question to ask if you've seen Gargoyles, so it's not like I'm really spoiling anything by saying, or did he? 